was inspired by one of my Facebook peeps, Vicki Briggs. She shared a beautiful painting with me in, in, um, on Facebook, and I'm like, oh my gosh, Vicki, these colors are so beautiful. So I've um, used a, a couple of her, um, her colors in this mix, and then I added a few of my own. I think she did an actual cloud or a ring pour in her painting, but it was absolutely beautiful. Great, great job, Vicki. Um, check her out. She does really, really pretty work, guys. So let's talk about our colors. Our swipe colors today are going to be Artist Loft Black, and all my paints are mixed with 75% Floetrol and 25% uh, Golden GAC 800. Our next color is one of Vicky's recommendations. It's a mixture of the DecoArt Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold, and I put in it um, a few drops of my Golden Burnt Umber, and it made just a beautiful goldeny, chocolatey, caramelly kind of color. So. I'm real excited about that. Thank you for that recommendation, Vicki. Another color I'm throwing in the mix is Golden Burnt Sienna. We also have Golden Iridescent Gold Deep. And as always, for good luck, guys, my Iridescent Pearl by Golden, my most favorite paint in the whole wide world. It makes me smile big. Let me get these guys out of the way. And then we'll talk about our base coat. We are working on my favorite size canvas, and I don't know why. It's a 20 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas. And it is, uh, it just feels so good in my hands. It's just the perfect size. I love doing ring pours and cloud pours and swipes on it. A lot of times I'll do a swipe at the diagonal. I think we're gonna go uh, straight on um, this time. Now our base coat, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. I'm going to be using in the middle part of this canvas, this Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents. Now, I saw this today at uh, Home Depot, and excuse me, at Lowe's, and this is called Seashell. And um, I used its sister a few weeks ago when I poured on that big piece of wood for the first time. I used the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents. This is the Metallic Champagne color. So that's what I mixed with my pouring medium um, for our base coat. We're gonna do the pearl color down the center and on the bottom and the top, we're going to be using this metallic paint. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some funky, fabulous music on and you guys can snap your fingers away while I get through this boring part of putting the paint on my canvas. Glad you're here, guys, and I will talk to you real soon. So I wanted to talk about what I'm doing here, guys. I had a little bit of a jiggy jiggy at the end of that last swipe. So I've got my damp paper towel. I dip it in my drippings 
and then I take that jiggy jig away. Real easy thing to do to fix up some rough lines if you want to smooth things out a little bit. I think that's kind of cool. So here I wasn't real happy with that bottom section. So I decided to lay down some additional colors in that swipe line and give it another go. And um, when it was all said and done, I was happy with that. Here I'm dripping that paper towel in my drippings and taking away that jagged line again. So here I decided, guys, I didn't like that white pearl that I stuck in there. I wanted the black to stand out a little bit more. So I added a little bit more black in that center area. And here I'm just going to kind of jagged it up a little bit. I'm going to run my popsicle stick down and kind of accentuate the dips that are in the center. Now you gotta be careful with this because if you go through too many of those big cells, it'll form kind of like a heart shape. And I guess that's okay, but I wanted to keep it a little bit more free flowing. So you see me working around those big cells a little bit. It just kind of accentuates that black center line and gives it some more of those legs which i think are kind of cool right there you see how i formed a a heart and here i'm just kind of cleaning up my sides and every once in a while while i saw a little bit of that pearl white popping through again so you see me kind of pushing it down towards that gold color because i wanted that center line to be a nice solid black.
Now stay tuned guys, it's a special today. You're getting two for one. I'm gonna show you what I did with those leftover paints and I'm really digging it. So stay with me and let me know what you think. Now this next part is fun, guys. We're gonna do some paint injections. I've got my base coat, Artist Loft Black, in that squeeze bottle, and I'm just kind of squeezing it into the paints that I laid down. Gonna give it a nice little torch here, and then we're gonna do some tilting to see what kind of fun things are gonna happen. <laughs> 